People often ask me, why should we bother doing historical Jesus studies? Why should we bring history into it at all? Surely if we have the four Gospels and we in the church have worshipped God in Jesus Christ for all these years, we don't need to do fresh historical work. Surely people say all that does is import into our discourse all sorts of prejudices from the 18th and 19th century about what as historians we can and can't believe and so on. This is quite a complicated question, partly because the word history itself can mean things that actually happened in the past, or it can mean the way we research the things that happened in the past, and people get confused about those, especially when they say, we today can't believe that something like this or that or the other would have happened. So people naturally get suspicious. Is historical study of Jesus going to mean that actually we are pulling away from what the Gospels tell us, or perhaps worse, trying to go behind the Gospels and construct a different sort of Jesus altogether. Often it's very difficult for us to put together what the Gospels hold together effortlessly, the idea of the kingdom of God and the idea of the death and resurrection of Jesus. In the Gospels, those interpret one another, and as historians, we can understand or begin to understand why that should be and what it means. But if we're not careful, we project our modern ideas back onto the Gospels, and then the whole thing falls apart. So we, every generation has to do fresh historical study to make sure that we really are hearing what Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John want to tell us. And through hearing those four voices, to discover more and more about who Jesus was and is.